Man, it's been a hot minute since I last posted on this channel. Um, I wouldn't blame some of you if you thought I was dead, because I would probably think the same thing. But luckily, as you can see, I'm still very much alive. I've just been super busy with a bunch of things uh, going on. You know, my parents have been moving recently, so I've been helping a lot with that. Uh, I've had to make a lot of changes in my house too, so the studio had to be removed from the original room and move somewhere else, and I couldn't record during that time, so uh, it's just been super, super busy, super, super crazy, but the important thing, I guess, is that we're back now, and uh, in this video, we are going to be checking out the Extreme Z Awakening details for the LR uh, Super Saiyan Gohan and a Super Saiyan Goten or LR Gobros that uh, is about to drop on the JP side of the game. Uh, one thing I will mention is that uh, this was a, as far as I remember, let me just quickly check before I make any mistakes. Uh, yes, this was a global first unit, okay? May 8th, 2019 was the global release date, and then they came out on July 1st, 2019 on JP. But for some reason, uh, they're getting an Extreme Z Awakening on JP first, which is just a little bit strange. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'm not going to make a, you know, uh, scene about it. I'm not going to make a big deal about it, but I'm just saying uh, it would have made more sense to release this EZA at least simultaneously, if not on global first, right? Anyways, getting back to the main topic. Uh, let's quickly go over the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for these guys first before we talk about the EZA for comparison purposes. So, before the Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill was Siblings Bond Category Key plus 4, uh, Attack plus 170%, and HP and Defense plus 150%, or Goku's Family Category Key plus 3, Attack plus 170, and HP and Defense plus 130. 12 key super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive attack and defense plus 58% launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed. Key plus up to 5 and attack and defense up to 100% and then disables rampage. Uh, active skill massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and the condition is can be activated when HP is 59% or less and facing only one enemy starting from the third turn from the start of battle once only. Okay, so that is before the Extreme Z Awakening. This is what they do currently. Now let's pop over to the EZA. So new leader skill will be a Siblings Bond, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 170%, so it's just 170 across the board as opposed to 170 and 150. And then same thing with Goku's family, it's going to be key plus 3, and then HP attack and defense plus 170 across the board. Uh, 12 key super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. So as you can see, the main difference here is that they do get a defense boost for one turn as well, uh, on top of the greatly raising of attack. And then same thing with the 18 key super, greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes mega cluster damage to the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 158%, so that's already a pretty significant increase from the 58% uh, before. And then they're getting uh, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So now it's 50% chance for the uh, additional attack to be a super versus before it was 30%, right? Plus an additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained. Key plus one and attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to key plus five and attack and defense plus 100%. So this is the same, but this uh, key plus one per type key sphere obtained is huge because um, if I remember correctly in the past, uh, at least early on in fights, uh, these guys would struggle a little bit sometimes for key, especially getting that 18 key super. So uh, this is gonna help a lot with that issue, right? So no more key issues for this unit. And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% and launches another additional attack 
it has a high chance of becoming a super attack when your team has an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded, attacking in the same turn. So, uh, this is essentially a chance for a fourth super, I guess, right? Because you got the initial super, and then you got the additional super here. You got, of course, the potential for a super from the hidden potential system, and then you also have this super right here if you have a Goku on rotation, which is not super hard to achieve, right? So, uh, yeah, this unit can now launch up to four super attacks in a turn. And then, uh, plus an additional attack plus 59% when activating the active skill, which is only, of course, a one-time thing, or when key is 24, which is going to be much easier to achieve now that you have this additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained, right? And, of course, disables Rampage. Uh, I believe the active skill and the condition um, are identical. Uh, yeah, massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to enemy, can be activated when HP is 59% or less, and facing only one enemy starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't change the active skill effect or uh, condition, but let's, uh, yeah, quickly go over, let's quickly go over the EZA just, um, to give you guys my opinion, I guess, of how good I think it is, uh, honestly. It looks pretty, pretty freaking powerful, man. It's a, it's a pretty damn good EZA. Um, what I say, it's the best I've ever seen. I'm not so sure about that, but I think offensively, these guys are going to be uh, an absolute juggernaut. I think they're going to do so much damage, you know, with all those additional supers. And of course, with the... Uh, you know, huge boosts they're getting, 158% here, they're getting up to 100% here, uh, attack and defense up to another 59% attack and defense, and then the additional 59% attack when you have 24 key is, once again, not that hard to achieve with, uh, you know, this additional key here, and they're just, gonna, they're just gonna hit really, really hard, you know, they're gonna do a lot of damage. Um, defensively, um, I think they're gonna be solid um obviously i think defensively they're not going to be as impressive as they are offensively but they should still get quite a bit of defense especially if you can launch uh two to three supers regularly you know because they do get the additional defense of course on their uh super attacks now so if you can launch yeah multiple supers every turn um you know in a slot two or slot three situation they should be pretty good defensively um, but once again, I don't think, you know, they're going to be quite as effective on defense as they are on offense. Um, this is not a unit you should really expect to tank like supers from some of the hardest hitting enemies in the game, right? That's just not what they're built for, but they should be able to take a hit nonetheless, uh, with some supers and, uh, yeah, man, they're, they're just going to do a ton of damage. Like these guys are going to be stupid offensively. So um, I'm pretty happy with this EZA, and it was a little bit unexpected, honestly, when I first saw the uh, announcement that their EZA was coming, but uh, I'm glad they seem to have done it justice. I haven't seen the calculation, so I can't say for sure, obviously, but I think uh, they're they're going to be pretty damn good, you know? So uh, that's how I feel about it. I'm, I'm pretty high on this EZA. I'm pretty positive about it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys feel the same way or if you are disappointed for whatever reason um as with any eza release i've been seeing some mixed reactions but uh i'm i'm feeling pretty good about it i really am so yeah coming out on june 6th 2023 on jp which is in about a day and a half or so and uh, hopefully sooner than later on global because i really want to test these guys out on my global account because of course they're rainbowed there i don't have them on jp so, uh, yeah, let's uh, get that going, Bandai. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, your boy is back. You can see, or uh, rather you can expect, some more regular posts and more regular videos on the channel uh, going forward now that I have my studio established again and uh, I'm, I'm good to go you know, for recording. So uh, thank you so much once again for being here. I appreciate you guys. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. 
sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you'll want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.